Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com and I have a wonderful card to share with you using some craft paper and some white borders that I cut the other night. Now this is the Yuletide border thin cut and you can see I have just a bunch of borders already pre-cut. And then I have a piece of craft cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. Now I'm going to pull, pull out my score board and score the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. So it will be a top fold standard size card. So I'm also going to want to add some snow to this card base using some white ink and I've pulled out my all-purpose mat and I'm just going to press my ink pad down on that and then grab my clear shimmer brush. Pick up some of that white ink and then use my bone folder to kind of flick the ink. Now if you're a follower of mine you know that I love to add ink splatters to my projects and I've recently really loved the white. So right here, I'm just going to sort out some of those borders. You can see that I have some white glitter paper as well as some of our pearl or paper. And then I do have one vellum. Now, if you don't have the fancy border thin cut, I'm going to show you how to take some of these other borders and just trim off the pieces that you do not want. Now on this one, I don't want the houses, so I'm just gonna trim off those and I'm only left with the trees, but you definitely could trim off all of them if you wanted and that way you're getting a kind of an extended use of these Yuletide borders if you have purchased those. So I'm going to do the same with this pearl or paper and just trim off those houses and then I'm going to start laying some of these layers down. Now I'm going to start with that white glitter paper. It's just so pretty. And then I'm going to kind of play around with these other layers. Now the one thing, these layers are pretty thin and so I definitely don't want any of my craft cardstock base to show through. And I also want various dimensions. So you're going to see me put some thin 3D foam tape here and there. You're also going to see me um, adhere directly to the cardstock base. And then I'll kind of show you the side view of this card. It's almost like an alligator type. Um, if you're familiar with how we describe our uh, scrapbook albums. It just kind of, um, just all the different layers kind of add that alligator feel to the card. Now right there, I did end up gluing a larger piece of that white uh, glitter paper. And then right here, I'm going to glue down that vellum. Now I should have known that liquid adhesive does not work well with the vellum. So it just popped right off. So then no problem. I pulled out my glue dots and I'm just going to adhere that vellum down. And then this very bottom layer actually will hide the glue dots of that vellum. So I am going to use thin 3D foam tape for this very bottom layer and then trim it off. And so now for the other part to the card, I wanted to use snowflakes. Now I have a retired thin cut, but we do have a current uh, stamp set with thin cuts. It call, it's called the Elegant Snowflakes, and that can be found on page 35 of the November-December catalog. And so for these other snowflakes, I cut those out of that white ore or that pearl paper. And I'm just kind of punching those out of those thin cuts. And then I'm going to arrange those toward the top of this craft cardstock base. I am adhering these with liquid adhesive. I didn't feel like I needed any more dimension. And then, of course, those little spaces are way too tiny for tape adhesive. So as much as I wanted to try to put a third snowflake up at the top, it just didn't work. So I decided to pull out my silver loose sequins and add a few of those. So I'm going to use some more of those micro dots to just adhere these sequins here and there to the card. Now I am going to kind of do a triangle and I am going to group them in twos. So I've got a large one and a small one up in the top right corner, and then I'm also going to put a small one by that one on the left that I've already put down. And then I'm just going to put a little single one up over one of those houses and then the trees. 
So for the inside of the card, I definitely want to bring those houses into the inside. So I have chosen another one of those white glitter pieces to put on the bottom of the inside of that card. And then I want to stamp a sentiment. So I'm going to bring out several of my M size stamp sets. Now what I love about these is they only retail for $3.95. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. I have chosen the Florist Joy to put on the inside of this card. So I've seasoned that stamp set up really well because I haven't used it yet. And then I'm going to pull out my Scarlet Ink. I definitely wanted red with this white and craft card to kind of bring a brightness to the card. So I've stamped that on the inside. And then I've realized that I really think that there should be some smoke to the top of those houses. So I'm looking this card over and then I'm looking that little stamp set over. And even though it's only $3.95, it's also got some of these little tiny hearts. So I'm going to pull those off and put those on a tiny block. And I'm going to ink those little hearts up in the scarlet ink as well to bring that scarlet color to the front of the card. So those little hearts are just going to be stamped over the top of those smokestacks of those houses. And then underneath that bottom border of the houses at the very bottom, there is a little row of dots. And I think I am going to attempt. Now, it's kind of late in the game. If I mess this up, <laughs> then this card is ruined. But I really have faith in it, and I really think it's going to turn out cute. So I just inked those little dots up in that scarlet ink and stamped those along the bottom as well. And I love how it brings that scarlet from the inside to the outside of the card. So I will leave all the links down below to all the products that I use. This is a part of a Christmas card blog hop, and I'll leave that link down below as well.